Hi everyone, this is Mark from simpleelectronicscourses.com and today I want to talk a little bit about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law gives us the relationship between voltage and current. And so just a reminder, voltage here represented by V, voltage measured in volts. Sometimes you also see this expressed as E for EMF, electromotive force. And this is really the amount of force that the electrons have to move through a conductor, through a wire, through a resistor as far as that goes. And we also have I, which is capital I, sometimes lowercase i, depending upon how I feel that day. That's the current. That's measured in amps. And that is the number of electrons going past a particular point. So it's how fast it's rushing through. And R gives us the relationship between those two. And R stands for resistance. And a lot of times you'll see that signified by the Greek letter omega. There, that's a better one. I'm not real good at my Greek letters, I guess. Anyway, those are called ohms. So we've got volts, amps, and ohms. As you can see by the equation here, as the current goes up, the voltage also goes up. And as the voltage goes up, the current also goes up. So let's grab a new, uh, new sheet of paper here. And let me show you a cute little thing that I've used to keep track of this. Draw a circle. And now whatever you need, you just cover up. So if we want volts, we can cover up the volts and we get that it's I times R. If we want current, we cover that up and we get that it's volts over ohms. Or if we want the resistance, we cover that up and we get that that is equal to the volts or the amps or the current. So let's uh, make ourselves a little circuit here. Let's draw a battery. That's the symbol for a battery, and we'll bring that over and we'll have a little resistor here. That's the symbol for a resistor. And so we have a resistor right across the battery. Now let's say this is a 6 volt battery, and let's say that this is a 2 ohm resistor. Well, let's figure out how much voltage is across the resistor. I mean, how much, we know how much voltage is across the resistor because it's the same as the battery, so that's 6 volts. Let's figure out how much current is going to be flowing through it. So we want I, and that's equal to the voltage over the resistance. And that's 6 volts over 2 ohms, and that's going to give us 3 amps. Now quite often with electronics, your resistors will have a much higher value. Quite often they'll be like maybe 2,000 ohms, which is like 2K. So in this case, if we had a 2K ohm resistance, our current would be 6 volts over 2K, or 6 volts over 2,000, which would be 3 thousandths of an amp, or 3 milliamps. So that's just a little, uh, little stuff on Ohm's Law. It comes up all over the place, and we'll uh, see it again. And um, these resistors, when you actually go to use them, they're uh, small little uh, devices that basically just have some carbon in it that aren't, uh, they're not great insulators, they're not great conductors, that's why they're resistors. And um, color coded, and we'll talk about the color code some other time. So if you have any questions, please swing by simpleelectronicscourses.com, leave me a note, and uh, likewise you can go there for more great information on electronics. Thank you much, have a good day.